you're very welcome to the Cozy Corner. And tonight we feature musicians from Balnacarrig Cultus Group in County Westmeath. Beside me on banjo is Joe Kinnear. We have Jackie O'Mara on guitar, Deirdre Penrose on banjo. We have sisters Neve and Fiona Callahan on box and flute. Joe, you're very welcome to the Cozy Corner. Delighted to be here and do this program. We are chuffed to be asked. So, um, you have a very strong group going there in Balnacarrig, but you know you're a, a very new group, as it were. Yeah, well, basically the branch was formed in 2012 uh, under the chairmanship of Willie Penrose, uh, Seamus Seary, the then uh, chairman of Westmead County Board, convinced Willie to set up a a branch in, in the locality and in fairness in a short space of time, a short couple of years, uh, the branch has grown from maybe a few members to nearly 300 members in a short space of time and it's a uh, majority of young musicians from six up to you know t the teenage years and then we have a few we own kind of age group involved as well and maybe a, a, a few older so it, it's great uh, we've had uh, many successful county flas there in the last couple of years and we've had big bands like We Banjo Tree and the Chandram Cayley Band and Gwitcha and you know it's 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 taken off uh, uh, greatly in, in a short space of time. It certainly has. You, you've had uh, festivals there for a couple of years and I've noticed that the sun always shines in Balnacarrig. Well I think uh, before the week before we have the uh, the flower of the festival. I think we all gather in the local church there and we play a few tunes and say a few prayers. So, uh, in all fairness, uh, any of the, the flowers or the festivals we had in the last couple of years, the sun always shone through. And it makes it easier to organise and, and run a festival or a flower when the, when the weather and the sun is shining, you know. So, it, it kind of it runs itself after that when the, when the sun is shining. So, it gets the people out to support the the ideas and the festivals uh, that we've held too. So, look, it's been all good. Yes. So, we're talking now about um, upwards on maybe 200 children uh, all learning music. Yeah, and yeah. Basically, classes are held on, on a Tuesday night in the school. Uh, you have fiddle, the great Onyani e. Rahley teaches fiddle. Uh, guitar, great teacher here, Jackie O'Mara from Donegal, teaches guitar. I teach banjo and mandolin. Uh, end of series, great whistle and flute player, he teaches flute and whistle. Um, who else have we got? Uh, Mark Swain does teach the accordion. And on a Friday night, there's kind of Shan Osan set dancing in the local hall, Chalk uh, and both uh, Neve and, uh, and Deirdre Penrose uh, do the teaching of the dancing. So there's roughly between 120 and 150 kids learning some kind of either music or dancing uh, every week. So it's great. It's great. It's, it's, it's amazing because there's not that huge of a tradition of Irish music around Balnacarrigy and you've brought all this to life really. Ah, yeah, well probably many moons ago there would have been Grey Piper, uh, kind of from the locality, Leo Rousam. He, that's, mm, I, I'm not sure of the exact dates, but he was a well-known musician. Uh, he would have come from, I think, Tristan and Balnacarrigy and look, it, it, it's... I think the youth in the area has gelled and it's brought a, a great sense of friendship and uh, musicianship and uh, all that around the locality and uh, like there's people travelling from as far over as Moat and Tang and uh, Mullingar like which is a nice spin out from the town so look at it it's it's all going well and hopefully it'll continue to do so you know. Well, you know, it's not all about lessons. You know, there have been some fantastic sessions there in the pubs in Balnacarrig. You know, I'm thinking of Halligans in particular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, at any time we've went on, we try and get... There's four pubs in the in the village, and uh, for a small village, I suppose, it's uh, it has its fair share of pubs, you know. So uh, we try and cover all the the, pub, the pubs uh, music-wise when we've went on, and... In fairness, uh, everyone's welcome. There's no, the door is not shut on anybody. And I think when you play an instrument, you should make everyone welcome. And that's, that's the way it's been. And hopefully that's the way it'll continue, you know. Whether you can play 
the dawn of the day or a real hard reel, you're you're welcome, no matter what instrument you play. And hopefully, you know, it'll continue like that. Well, I think that's one part of your secret. But I think there's also something very, very unique about Balna Carrigley, and that is there's a fantastic community spirit there. I've noticed that myself if I go to um, any kind of an event. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, at music is about enjoyment. And, and if you're not enjoying your music, there's no point in playing it. So basically, uh, we try and welcome anyone that comes into the lo locality. And uh, like, I'm, I'm an outsider myself. I'm not actually from the village, but uh, I was made feel very welcome from there from the start. Willie Penrose kind of asked me to get involved. And in fairness, I've been made feel very welcome. And I think no matter who comes into the village, uh, the same... Uh, thing happens to no matter who comes uh, to any event that's been on there you know so so on that note joe you're going to play a tune for me yeah i play a, a reel called the kyle brack rambler uh, i heard this off a girl that won the underrating banjo a couple of years ago uh, ashleen feig and a great banjo player but i hope i i do it justice <laughs> Lovely, Joe. Um, I'm in the habit of asking my guests, you know, how they started playing. So I, I'm going to ask you the same question, Joe. How did you take up the banjo? Yeah, well, my dad would have played uh, music originally from Galway, and his brothers would have played in, you know, maybe a, a local band in Banlick Hill in East Galway. And he loved traditional music. And basically, there's five of us in the family, and, and we all kind of uh, went to Castletown, a great uh, music area of County Westmead. Uh, Ellen Comerford, a great accordion player, was teaching out there at the time. So my dad brought the five of us out and basically she showed me the scale and the banjo and uh, I basically am self-taught after that. So uh, I would have been influenced big time by the likes of Kieran Hanrahan and Tom Cusson out of the Shaskeen Cayley Band. I, I would have listened to them from... A, a young age, maybe nine or ten, I, I loved the sound of the banjo, so thankfully I took it up and sure, look, at, I'm still at it, so that's what it's all about. And you're teaching it because in a few minutes we're going to be hearing uh, one of your students, Ben Keary, who's an All-Ireland medal winner. Yeah, Ben's a great uh, banjo player, but I, I have a lot of great banjo uh, musicians in, in around Banlicargi and Westmead. Uh, it's, it's a strong instrument in Westmead. I've, uh, a lot of uh, girls and boys that have uh, really took up the banjo uh, like really quick and have turned into great young players, you know, so it's great to see it, great to see it. So now you're going to play another set of tunes for me. Yeah, we'll do three jigs. I 
would have played these on the North American tour. Uh, the first one's called uh, Father Tom's Wager. The second one is uh, um, The Setting Sun, and I'm not sure the name of the third one, so we'll, we'll give them a rattle. Welcome back to part two. I have Ben Keary from Walchestown near Mullingar. Ben is also a member of Balnacarrig Echoltas and an All-Ireland medal winner. Ben, you're very welcome to the Cozy Corner. Hi, Anna. Ben, what year was it that you won that gold medal? 
uh, won the, the All Ireland there in 2012, and. Uh, in Cavan, and every year after that, I came in the West Midlands, Leinster, so I came either first and second, and uh, in All Ireland every year, I came either second or third. So, and uh, who's teaching you? Uh, Joe Kinnear. Oh, Joe, is there anything that Joe can teach you at this stage? Oh, well, there's always something new to learn. So, right, and what are you going to play for me tonight, Ben? Uh, playing three jigs. So, yeah, I, don't, I can't remember the names. You can't remember the names. And you're accompanied by your sister Shauna. Um, yeah. Right, in your own time. very talented Ben Keary. Deirdre, 
you're a daughter of Willie Penrose, the founder member of Balnacarrig Cultus. Tell me, how did you start playing music? I started playing music. I started on the Tim Whistle a good few years ago with Sheila Foley. And then I progressed on to the banjo about five, five or six years ago now with Joe. And from there, just when we were younger, there was always music on in the kitchen and that's how we got involved in music. It was always around us and we were brought to Kayleys and sessions and just always partook and stuff. So that's our introduction to music. And it's really part of your life now because you're studying in the University of Limerick. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I didn't know what I wanted to do in college and the only thing, the only subject I had an interest in was music. So then I decided that I would follow that and I'm now down in the University of Limerick doing a Bachelor of Arts in Irish Music and Dance. And there's well-known people down there, the tutors, the, the bosses down there, Niall Keegan, Sandra Joyce, Orla Nivreen and Mel Mercier, who has now taken over from Michal O'Sullivan. And the tutors down there are Derek Hickey, Connor Kermans, uh, John Carty, Alan Reid, um, Blackie O'Connell, there's numerous, Jim Higgins, any instrument you want, you can find it down there. And we're very lucky to have ma master classes, two hour master classes, some of the best, that even flown from across the water as well. So. So you're really immersed in the cream of Irish music. Yeah, I sure am. Thank and very thankful for that. And what's it like to be a student in Limerick? Uh, well, the student life is great in Limerick. We're we're always um, out and about. And recently, we're playing at the Limerick Fling in the concert hall in Limerick in the university. We've we're given opportunities to play. Uh, last year we presented a programme on Radio Na Gaeltachta called Ar Vruach under the leadership of Anya Hensi of Radio Na Gaeltachta and we just get to work alongside the main people that's out there. Kieran Hanran as well presented Kayleigh House there a few weeks ago and it's just great to be a part of it. So the Leave and Start results will be coming out in a few weeks time. So. What have you to say to a student who's half thinking of going to Limerick? If you're half thinking of going to Limerick, just make sure you want to go because you definitely will love it down there. So th that's, a, that's a great plug for Limerick. So now um, we're going to have another set of tunes. Um, can you tell me what's going to happen now this time? I will. The two girls here beside me is Neve and Fiona Callaghan and they're going to play two jigs called Father Quinns and the Cliffs of Moher. Thank you. 
Jackie, you hail from Donegal and uh, I've been told that you're bringing the tradition of Donegal Irish music to Balnacarrigy. Tell me a little bit about your teaching. Well, I've started um, teaching in Balnacarrigy, I would say, about 12, 13 years ago. And at the minute, uh, probably about 40 to 50 students, so it's going really well. They all seem to be enjoying it. That's amazing. And um, I'm also told that you're one of the people that is on the committee. I am too, but they're for them now and again. So tell me, is there much work involved in organising county flowers and all that kind of thing? Oh, there's a lot of work goes into it. But we have a great committee and great chairman and Joe here, the vice chairman. So it's great. Great committee. Well, sadly... Um, this brings us to the close of the Cozy Corner for another week and uh, it has been wonderful having Joe and Jackie, Deirdre, Neve and Fiona. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you can tune in next week. Deirdre, you're going to play us out with a set of tunes. Yeah, we're going to finish off with a set of reels and they're called The Green Mountain, The Road to Ballymac and The Boys of Mallon. Thank you, Anna.
the teenage years. And then we have a, a few my own kind of age group involved as well, and maybe a, a, a few older. So it, it's great. Uh, we've had uh, many successful county flags there in the last couple of years, and we've had big bands like Wee Banjo Tree and the Chandram Kelly Band and Gwitcha, and you know, it's 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 taken off uh, uh, greatly in in a short space of time. It certainly has. You, you've had uh, festivals there for a couple of years, and I've noticed that the sun always shines in Balnacarrigi. Well, I think uh, before the week before we have the uh, the flower, the festival. I think we all gather in the local church there, and we play a few tunes and say a few prayers. So, uh, in all fairness, uh, any of the the flowers or the festivals we had in the last couple of years, the sun always shone through, and it makes it easier to organise and and run a festival or a flower when the when the weather and the sun is shining. You know, so it, it kind of it runs itself after that when the when the sun is shining. So it gets the people out to support the the ideas and the festivals uh, that we've held too. So look, it's been all good. Yes. So we're talking now about um, upwards on maybe 200 children uh, all learning music. Yeah, and yeah. Basically, classes are held on, on a Tuesday night in the school. Uh, you have fiddle, the great Onion E. Rally teaches fiddle. Uh, guitar, great teacher here, Jackie O'Mara from Donegal, teaches guitar. I teach banjo and mandolin. Uh, end of series, great whistle and flute player, he teaches flute and whistle. Um, who else have we got? Uh, Mark Swain does teach the accordion. And on a Friday night, there's kind of Shan Olsen set dancing in the local hall, Chalk Keol. Uh, and both uh, Neve and, uh, and Deirdre Penrose uh, do the teaching of the dance. So there's roughly between 120 and 150 kids learning some kind of either music or dancing uh, every week. So it's great. It's great. It's, it's, it's amazing because there's n not that huge of a tradition of Irish music around Balnacargi and you've brought all this to life, really. Uh, yeah, well, probably many moons ago, there would have been Grey Piper, uh, kind of from the locality, Leo Rousam. He, that's, mm, I, I'm not sure uh, of the exact dates, but he was a well-known musician. Uh, he would have come from, I think, Tristan and Balnacargi. And look, it, it, it's... I think the youth in the area has gelled and it's brought a, a great sense of friendship and uh, musicianship and uh, all that around the locality and uh, like there's people travelling from as far over as Moat and Tang and uh, Mullingar like which is a nice spin out from the town so <laughs>
makes it easier to organise and, and run a festival or a fly when the when the weather and the sun is shining, you know. So it, it kind of it runs itself after that when the when the sun is shining. So it gets the people out to support the the ideas and the festivals uh, that we've held too. So look, it's been all good. Yes. So we're talking now about um, upwards on maybe. 200 children uh, all learning music and yeah, yeah. basically classes are held on on a Tuesday night in the school uh, you have fiddle the great onion e rally teaches fiddle uh, guitar great teacher here Jackie O'Mara from Donegal teaches guitar I teach banjo and mandolin uh, end of series great whistle and flute player he teaches flute and whistle um, who else have we got uh, Mark Swain does teach the accordion and on a Friday night there's kind of Shan Awesome set dancing in the local hall, Chalk Keol, uh, and both uh, Neve and, uh, and Deirdre Penrose uh, do the teaching of the dancing. So there's roughly between 120 and 150 kids learning some kind of either music or dancing uh, every week. So it's great. It's great. It's 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 amazing because there's n not that huge of a tradition of Irish music around Balnacargi, and you've brought all this to life, really. Uh, yeah, well, probably many moons ago there would have been Great Piper, uh, kind of from the locality, Leo Rousam. He, that's mm, I, I'm not sure uh, of the exact dates, but he was a well-known musician. Uh, he would have come from I think Tristan and Balnacargi, and look at it, it, it's. I think the youth in the area has gelled and it's brought a, a great sense of friendship and uh, musicianship and uh, all that around the locality and uh, like there's people travelling from as far over as Moat and Tang and uh, Mullingar like which is a nice spin out from the town so look at it it's it's all going well and hopefully it'll continue to do so you know. Well, you know, it's not all about lessons. You know, there have been some fantastic sessions there in the pubs in Balnacarig. You know, I'm thinking of Halligans in particular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, at any time we've went on, we try and get... There's four pubs in the in the village, and uh, for a small village, I suppose, it's uh, it has its fair share of pubs, you know. So uh, we try and cover all the the, pub, the pubs uh, music-wise when we've went on, and... In fairness, uh, everyone's welcome. There's no, the door is not shut on anybody. And I think when you play an instrument, you should make everyone welcome. And that's that's the way it's been, and hopefully that's the way it'll continue. You know, whether you can play the dawn of the day or a real hard reel, you're you're welcome, no matter what musicianship and uh, all that around the locality. And uh, like, there's people travelling from as far over as Moat and Tang and uh, Mullingar, like, which is. Uh, nice spin out from the town so look at it it's it's all going well and hopefully it'll continue to do so you know well you know it's not all about lessons you know there have been some fantastic sessions there in the pubs in Balnacarig you know I'm thinking of Halligans in particular yeah 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 well look at any time we went on we try and get there's four pubs in the in the village and uh, for a small village I suppose it's it has its fair share of pubs, you know. So uh, we try and cover all the the, pub, the pubs uh, music-wise when we've been on. And in fairness, uh, everyone's welcome. There's no the door is not shut on anybody. And I think when you play an instrument, you should make everyone welcome. And that's that's the way it's been. And hopefully that's the way it'll continue. You know, whether you can play the dawn of the day or a real hard reel, you're you're welcome, no matter what instrument you play. And Hopefully, you know, it'll continue like that. Well, I think that's one part of your secret, but I think there's also something very, very unique about Balnacargi, and that is there's a fantastic community spirit there. I've noticed that myself if I go to um, any kind of an event. Yeah, yeah, well, look, at music is about enjoyment, and, and if you're not enjoying your music, there's no point in playing it. So, basically, uh, we try and welcome anyone that comes into the lo locality and... Uh, like I'm, I'm an outsider myself. I'm not actually from the village, but uh, I was made feel very welcome from there from the start. Willie Penrose kind of asked me to get involved, and in fairness, I've been made feel very welcome. And I think no matter who comes into the village, uh, the same uh, thing happens to no matter who comes to any event that's been on there. You know, so 
So on that note, Joe, you're going to play a tune for me. Yeah, I'll play a, a reel called the Kyle Brack Rambler. Uh, I heard this off a girl that won the under rating banjo a couple of years ago. Uh, Ashleen Feagan, a great banjo player, but I hope I, I do it justice. <laughs> That's a, that's a great plug for Limerick. So now um, we're going to have another set of tunes. Um, can you tell me what's going to happen now this time? Well, the two girls here beside me is Neve and Fiona Callaghan, and they're going to play two jigs called Father Quinns and the Cliffs of Moher. <laughs> you hail from Donegal and uh, I've been told that you're bringing the tradition of Donegal Irish music to Balnacarrigy. Tell me a little bit about your teaching. Well, I've started um, teaching in Balnacarrigy, I would say, about 12, 13 years ago. And at the <laughs> Thank you. 
likes of Kieran Hanrahan and Tom Cusson now, the Shasky and Kayleigh band. I, I would have listened to them from a, a young age, maybe nine or ten. I, I loved the sound of the banjo, so thankfully I took it up and sure, look at I'm still at it, so that's what it's all about. And you're teaching it because in a few minutes we're going to be hearing uh, one of your students, Ben Keary, who's an All-Ireland medal winner. Yeah, Ben's a great uh, banjo player, but I, I have a lot of great banjo uh, musicians in, in around Ballinacargi and Westmead. Uh, it's, it's a strong instrument in Westmead. I've, uh, a lot of uh, girls and boys that have uh, really took up the banjo uh, like really quick and have turned into great young players, you know, so it's great to see it. Great to see it. So now you're going to play another set of tunes for me. Yeah, we'll do three jigs. I would have played these on the North American tour. Uh, the first one's called uh, Father Tom's Wager. The second one is uh, um, The Setting Sun, and I'm not sure the name of the third one, so we'll, we'll give them a rattle. Now the Shasky and Kayleigh band, I, I would have listened to them from a, a young age, maybe nine or ten. I, I loved the sound of the banjo, so thankfully I took it up and sure, look at I'm still at it, so that's what it's all about. And you're teaching it because in a few minutes we're going to be hearing uh, one of your students, Ben Keary, who's an All-Ireland medal winner. Yeah, Ben's a great uh, banjo player, but I, I have a lot of great banjo uh, musicians in, in around Ballinacargi and Westmead. Uh, it's, it's a strong instrument in Westmead. Uh, a lot of uh, girls and boys that have uh, really took up the banjo uh, like really quick and have turned into great young players, you know, so it's great to see it. Great to see it. So now you're going to play another set of tunes for me. Yeah, we'll do three jigs. I would have played these on the North American tour. Uh, the first one's called uh, Father Tom's Wager. The second one is uh, um, The Setting Sun, and I'm not sure the name of the third one, so we'll, we'll give them a rattle. <laughs> 